One of my recent subscribers commented that they're married to a permanent resident and they wanted to know how long it'll take for them to get their green card. And my response to them was complicated and long and I thought it would make a great video. So that's what today's video is about. If you're a permanent resident and you marry an immigrant spouse, can they adjust their status to permanent residence in the US? And we're going to be discussing a situation where the spouse has overstayed whatever visa they use to enter the U.S. and another situation where they maintain lawful immigration status throughout the entire process. If you're new to my channel, I'm Puyan Darian, an attorney focused on immigration law, and I'm here to talk to you about immigration law. If somebody entered the US legally with a visa or parole and they marry a permanent resident, can they become a permanent resident themselves? Can they adjust their status to permanent residence? Versus if they marry a US citizen, can they become a permanent resident? Well, the answer is somewhat complicated. The difference between these two categories is that marrying a permanent resident is a preference category petition, whereas marrying a US citizen is considered to be an immediate relative petition. Immediate relative petitions will not consider whether you've ever overstayed your visa and whether you've ever worked without authorization. So if you've done these two things, you can still become a permanent resident through marriage to a US citizen. But if you're marrying a permanent resident and you've overstayed your visa and you don't currently have lawful immigration status, then you cannot adjust your status. You cannot become a permanent resident. The remedy here would be for your spouse to first naturalize, become a US citizen, and then they could file the petition for you. There are some other things you should consider as well if you're married to a permanent resident. The first one is that if you are in a valid immigration status, let's say you're on a student visa and you can keep renewing it, then there actually might be a pathway for you to file the family petition and then apply for adjustment of status. Can you file both the family petition and adjustment of status at the same time? Well, it actually depends on when you're applying and it depends on what the visa bulletin says. When you marry a permanent resident spouse, you generally need to file a family petition first, wait for it to be approved, wait for the priority date on the petition to become current, and then you can apply for adjustment of status, your green card. You need to be legally and lawfully present in the US this entire time. If you fall out of status during any of this process, you can't continue. You need your spouse to become a US citizen first. Currently, as of July 2023, the visa bulletin indicates that there is a three year period from when you file the family petition until the priority date becomes current. So if you begin this process in 2020, then today in 2023, your priority date will become current and you can continue with the adjustment of status process, but only if you've maintained lawful immigration status in the US the entire time. If you ever fell out of status, you can't continue with the process. If you've been outside of the US the entire time, we're talking about a completely different thing. The priority date and waiting for the visa to become available is the same, it'll still take three years if you started the process in 2020, but you'll end up doing the whole thing at the consulate. Now you might be saying, I know someone who filed their family petition and green card application at the same time, and they got their green card through marriage to a permanent resident. Well, actually, yes, that is possible in the past. Just a year ago, these priority dates were current, which means there was no waiting period. Uh, but the priority dates on the visa bulletin change from month to month, and currently there's a three-year waiting period. So that's why you need to make sure that your priority date is current before you apply for adjustment of status and that you have maintained lawful immigration status the entire time and that you have no unauthorized employment. Thank you.
I've had people come to my office and say, hey, look, we filed this I-130 family petition by ourselves. I overstayed my visa. My spouse is a permanent resident. Immigration approved it. Here's the approval notice right here. Can we hire you to apply for the green card? And my answer is no, you can't hire me because it'll get denied. If we submit the green card application and pay the filing fee of $1,225 today, your application will get denied. You might get a temporary employment authorization while it's pending, but that will eventually go away when your case is denied. If you don't wanna just lose all your money, the answer here is to wait for your spouse to become a US citizen. And then we can try to convert this approved family petition to the spouse of a US citizen category. So you don't at least lose the $535 you paid for the family petition. Or worst case scenario, we, we will at that time just refile the family petition along with a green card and work permit application all at the same time in what's known as a concurrent filing. If you're married to a US citizen, it doesn't matter if you overstayed your visa. It doesn't really matter if you've previously engaged in unauthorized employment. These grounds of inadmissibility are not considered. So you can overstay your tourist visa from 10 years ago and still fix your status today, even though you've been out of status for 10 years, through marriage to a US citizen. Now, this assumes you don't have other disqualifying factors like crimes and stuff. So, you know, as always, speak to an immigration lawyer before you spend all your money on these applications. But my point is that fixing a lot of the problems I'm talking about merely requires your permanent resident spouse becoming a citizen first. Your main takeaway from this video should be that you should not waste your money on an application for permanent residence, or the green card application, if you're married to a permanent resident and you are out of status in the United States, you will eventually get a denial decision on your form I-485, application for permanent residence, and then you'll talk to a lawyer. I have this conversation all the time. I see a lot of people waste their money on things like this. Don't let it be you. So before you apply, either make sure that you're in status or that your spouse has first become a US citizen. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you have any questions or you found anything I discussed confusing, please put it in the comments below. I'll address your questions directly. And if I think it's a good topic that a lot of people have asked me, I'll make a video on it. If there are other topics that you want me to specifically address in a video, again, put it in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I put out similar videos on a weekly basis, generally describing the basics of family-based immigration petitions. And if you ever need assistance with an immigration matter, if you want to petition for a family member, or you just married a US citizen, or you just need advice on your specific situation, you could always schedule a consultation through my website or by calling my office. See you guys next week for another video.